Okay, today we're looking at a static time of 1500 BMC diesel. Um, now, essentially what you've got behind the front crank cover, which is that thing that says MOOG on it, um, you've got two um, gears, a larger one that runs the cam and a smaller one that's on the crank. Um, and the timing chain goes between. Now, <clears throat> this engine is assembled so that we can actually go over the, the later stages, but essentially, all you've got in there are two um, drilled marks on the gears, one on each. Here's a nice little picture for you. Um, the cam is the larger one, the crank is the smaller, and all you do is you line up those two marks and put the cam chain around, and that's all there is to it. Simple <coughs> and, um, and basic can't really get it wrong because it's fairly rough uh, gearing on that um, if you're out you're gonna see it so just line them up add your uh, cam chain jobs are good okay past that more in-depth timing you've actually got a little plate here which gives you um, you know uh, TDC 20 degrees before TDC etc um, so the only other thing really you've got to time is your uh, injector pump now this is what your um, injector pump, uh, you know, your injector pump spigot looks like. This jobby, um, basically, it's a whole series of little splines um, with a master spline on it, um, which is a, a, a larger tooth, if you see what I mean. So there's a whole series of teeth and a larger one. Now it's very easy to do. What you want to do is you want to go to 22 degrees before TDC. Um, and then all you do at 22 degrees before TDC with the injector pump off is line up the master spline to 5 o'clock. So imagine this is a, a, um, a gasket from, um, from the injector pump. So you'd be looking at this, that's 12 o'clock. You literally, you don't want it at 6, you don't want it at 9, you want it at 5 o'clock. Don't worry, it's real easy to do. Um, I mean, ideally, don't get me wrong, what you want is this tool where you can just lock it in and there you go. But <clears throat> to be fair it's just as easy this way. So 22 degrees before TDC. Um, if you've got the little plate it's easy to work out because it literally tells you. Okay there's 22 degrees before TDC on there. I know it's rough but this is a 1960s engine so come on guys I'm helping the best I can. Right if your plate has fallen off um, 22 degrees before TDC lines the notch up there, the notch there with the bottom of this main plate, hang on, I'll use the other end of that. 22 degrees is roughly in line with the bottom of that, um, which is the main facing plate that holds the, the cam um, bearing and thrust washer, etc. There. So that notch on the cam pulley in line with the bottom of that, roughly. Don't worry, because remember, it's the gearing is, you can't get it that far out, if you see what I mean. This uh, 25 or 20 degrees you won't really see a difference it'll still be at five o'clock here there's only like seven or eight teeth on that so as you can imagine it's either gonna be there 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 you know you get it now to change this 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 um the the drive that's in the engine that drives the injector pump you need to twist to take it out twist and take out now you can actually get a finger in so you can literally jab your finger into it and twist it out and then knock it back and then you have to find the hole at the other end and then rotate it back in. Quite often a good thing to do is to have a spanner not a, a, or something so you can turn both ways on this and to be actually standing at the side of the engine like so. You can put one finger in behind the injector pump and then the other hand could be on there just wiggling um, to get your spline back in. You'll get it, it takes a bit of practice but five o'clock on that and that's your injector pump timing. Now don't get me wrong, uh, this isn't dynamic timing and to be fair with an engine this old, um, really unless you're going to use an injector light, so you know it's your strobe light to give you, the best you can do is this and then by ear. So fairly simple, um, 5 o'clock on the, the main drive, um, you'll know it on the master spline because the master spline is like two teeth in one, it's just a cut out basically. Um, obviously there uh, is your cam timing and then if you've actually got everything back on like this now um, you can be 180 degrees out um, on this I know I'm not at the moment because I've just done it um, 
but what you do to check that you're actually at TDC, TDC, and not bottom of exhaust stroke, what you do is you watch the valves. Number one you're looking for, now we watch the right hand valve, which is the exhaust valve. So she's exhausting, keep going. And up she comes, and then she's, you see the net, you see the inlet valve go down, so she's taken in. And then at the bottom of that, she's taken in, and then you'll see when they've both closed, she's at the bottom of the compression stroke, and now she's starting to come up. So as it goes round now, you now want to be looking for your cutout, which is, as you can see, just about to come round there. No, you can't see, but it's just coming round now, and there he is, coming round to the marker plate. So that's our TDC. Careful you don't get it 180 degrees out, or you'll end up with the injection timing wrong. So basically, dead on TDC. And um, five o'clock on that. For those of you, if you want to find TDC and um, you want an exact measurement back to 22 degrees um, or 22 whatever's before, um, the distance on a, if you're only good at your maths, the distance on a pulley that is, uh, let me see now, distance on a pulley that's about, 170 mil is 35 degrees so the difference between 0 and 22 is about 35 millimeters on a 170 odd mil pulley so um, you can kind of calculate it from there if your little things dropped off but literally don't worry it doesn't need to be that accurate for the simple reason that if you're doing this if you've got a dial gauge um, you, you won't be reading this, you won't be listening to this video, you'll be doing it with a dial gauge. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all you've got there. Then we'll look at the dynamic timing later on. Um, it's fairly brutally obvious with these, with the injector timing if you're out, because you'll either get a terrible amount of white smoke or, or an awful knocking noise. Um, and it's fairly easy to get spot on. I hope that helps. Um, and if you want to see dynamic timing, look at the next one.